Hey guys, welcome to my channel Adamant Algorithm. This is Surain. In this video, we are going to see how to create minimaps. Minimaps are always often helpful uh, for the players when they are dealing with uh, relatively larger size maps. Uh, for example, RPG games like Diablo or Dungeon Siege or even GTA, that open world games, right? So these kind of games uh, will have a relatively huge map where the player have got no idea where they will be. And that's why minimaps are very useful uh, for the player to track their current location in, with the main camera and there is a mini map at the side of the um, screen to see uh, what is their distance from a relative another object or to see where the map ends or whatever okay so let me quickly demonstrate um, what I do have in my project I actually have a player which actually is moved by the keyboard inputs uh, very simple inputs and uh, this maze is just essentially a PNG image and there is nothing much to it I can't spend much time in creating the colliders to create a game for this I'm so sorry about it but the goal of this video is to create a mini map not uh, making this collide uh, well what I'm talking about is let me quickly enable this can you see <clears throat> now that's the mini map which we have created and this is the effect we will be doing at the end of this video as you can see, the minimap is covering the whole, whole area of the, um, what do you call, the, how big uh, the maze is. It's completely covering it and the main camera is tracking the player, but the minimap is actually uh, showing you what is, a, what is your relative distance from the end of the maze. Okay, and this is the effect. Uh, so let's quickly go ahead and see how to create this effect. And luckily, you don't have to write a single line of code in order to achieve this okay guys let me clear my project and so that i can uh, show you all the steps from the scratch okay here i am my project is nice and clean uh, so what i do have is i have a main camera as usual but in this case it's attached to my coin the coin is the player which is moved by the keyboard and why i have attached the main camera is because i want the main camera to move along with the player and there is no rotations involved in this game if there is any rotation involved, please don't do this method because your camera might eventually start rotating. There are several other sophisticated methods. Uh, I might be covering uh, that also in my future video. For now, I don't need that and that's why I did not do that. Okay, that being said, I have a script file which is attached to the player which moves the player and the PNG image and obviously just a scene folder. So in order to achieve the minimap effect, what we need to do is we need to just create an another camera and let's call it um, minimap cam. Okay, so first things first, first of all, let the, uh, let's reset it to the center. And first of all, uh, what is a clear flag? Clear flag is skybox, so that's okay for us, no problem for now background we will deal with it later culling mask is everything is okay and the most important one is the projection perspective is always for 3d games and for us it's supposed to be orthographic okay and size we will come back to it first of all i don't want this camera to cover my old scene as my main camera does so what i need to do is i need to shrink the size of my second camera so that it will occupy only here how to do that is pretty simple let me just make it half of it oops sorry 0.5 as you can see this is going to be the final size of it i don't want it too big maybe 0 0.3 is okay 0 0.3 is so small okay anyway all right so now the other thing is there is a huge uh, thing we need to understand is our main camera is gen can able to see all those things that are on the scene but unfortunately our mini camera cannot see that the main reason is if you go to the main camera everything is in the center but you can see the z is at minus 20 okay and that's the size i think why it is minus 20 even minus 10 is more than enough yeah minus 10 is by default but here unfortunately the z is zero for our mini camera and we need to keep it in the same z location now you can able to see that the second one is the depth okay the depth is let me put it minus two see what happens our minimap gone so let me quickly tell you what is the reason i pressed i, I entered minus two here because our main camera comes with a default value of minus one which means 
If you want to render one camera on top of another, imagine sorting layers. It's exactly the same. This depth means sorting layer for our camera. Meaning, if our main camera is in minus one, so anything less than that, okay, cannot be seen from the front. So if you want your new camera to overlay on top of the existing camera, it has to have a more positive number than this. The number should be greater. So the mini map, of course, we need to show it on top of our main camera. So instead of minus two, by default, it was zero and that should be okay because zero is greater than minus one. That being said, the second one is, again, our purpose is not fulfilled at the moment because this minimap itself is not covering the whole map that we supposed to achieve. For that, you have the size. Keep increasing the size until you see the whole map. So I'm gonna say 12. Yeah, I think this is okay. And if you feel the mini map is so less, change the value just a bit. Yeah, I think it's sweet. And now both the background are exactly the same. So it's kind of confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a different color. Okay. And let's go ahead and play. All right. So now, as you can see, the minimap is uh, showing you the relative location of the player in accordance with the um, the larger area and the other main camera is following the player nice and easy. Okay, this is a preliminary mini map. Okay, you can able to, uh, oh, most important thing, audio listener. Okay, the rule in Unity is that can be only one audio listener active at one point. Okay, so if you see, there is an error message that is saying, it will. it's not a game breaker, but actually it's not a very good practice. Okay, so since our mini map don't need to have a audio listener switching that off would actually great um, greatly increase the performance as well and causes less confusing for unity okay I think hope you guys uh, learn a few things about from this video and uh, this is pretty simple um, to start with okay and like this I would be coming up with a lot of uh, other uh, fun video as well in the future so if you like the content of this channel and the video please do subscribe and please do uh, click the like button and any comments you have please put that uh, down and i will try to reply you as soon as possible and uh, i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day take care